Hey everybody, get you some here. I got a few updates on uh, the Asus B3 boards, the um, PA P67 Deluxe. <clears throat> some BIOS changes that I needed to do to keep it stable, and uh, a few other changes with my RAM that I did. Uh, first, I'd just like to say um, to all them people in Japan, man, I was in that country in the mid 80s when I was in the Marine Corps and uh, I've been back a few times since and this my heart goes out to them y'all alright now uh, let me show you what's going on here I got uh, I got Prime up and running it's been running for a little over an hour I tested this setup before and uh, I just made a few changes to it and wanted to see how good it was if it would do any better but as you can see uh, it's hitting 1.32 on the on the V core and uh, I switched from a 100 to a 103 B clock with a 44 on the turbo because I wanted, I added some new uh, Dominator GT uh, 2000 megahertz RAM, and I wanted to try to get it as close to 200 as I could. And uh, I was having some trouble with the overclock. I don't know if you can uh, try to zoom in. So you my temps are running. 54 on one core, 53. Not too bad. Turn off this light, I'm getting some shine. I think you see it better now. But, uh, yeah, this is, this has been, uh, let me stop Prime. Yeah. Okay, I got the memory set at, uh, let's see, I done forgot what I had to. Yeah, it's like 1922 now. And it's running at 910, 927, two times on DRAM clock. And, uh, 1.65 volts. So, uh, Let me go in and show you some BIOS changes that I had to do. Yeah, I got the new, um, <clears throat> some Corsair Dominator GT 2000 megahertz running in there. And I got the Airflow uh, Pro uh, Temperature Thermal Monitor. I think it does great, man. It, uh, it looks cool, too, but, you know, besides all the lights there, it gives you the temperature in the middle, 
and then uh, I'll show you when it when it starts to boot up it uh it shows you how much the RAM is uh is using. Okay, set your AI overclock tune and manual 103 on the B clock by all cores in the OS 44 on the turbo ratio. Disable uh, PLL voltage. Now my RAM's rated at 2,000 right now, so it's at 1922. Disable your EPU. Now whatever your RAM set at. You know, you can mess with the latencies or whatever, but mine set at 910, 927, because that's the rated speed two times for uh, for the XMP profile. So, uh, now here's a few changes. I had to my load line calibration I have the medium VRM frequency is uh, manual at 350 optimized on the phase control duty control is T probe uh, offset voltage plus 0 0.040 and my DRAM is 1.65 volts now I was messing with the CPU PLL voltage and I had it to like 1.60 it did fine uh, 1.70 it did fine I just left it on auto for right now I'll, I've been uh, trying so many different settings with this this 103 on the on the B clock I had a hard time trying to get the system stable at 100 on the B clock and 45 on the turbo ratio Seems like these new B3 boards just uh, the phase control and the load line calibration has changed so much from the old boards. I don't know. It's the same BIOS 1305. And um, with this BIOS, make sure you go into your CPU configuration, the advanced tab, and um, down the bottom, enable all your C states. C3 report, C6, uh, C1E. They're set on auto by default, but just make sure you enable them. And that's about that's about it for uh, this BIOS is still touchy. I mean it. Sometimes the keyboard is even hard to get it to work. I gotta get me a new uh, new mouse and keyboard. This Microsoft Wireless uh, Laser 6000 version 2 just doesn't seem to work too well with the Microsoft 3.1 receiver in this BIOS. But you can see uh, you can see the RAM. As it's booting up, it'll, uh, and as you put load on it, it'll turn from, uh, blue is good color for the middle. If you get it a, there's one below that too that even goes to a, like, it's a light purple. And then it'll turn to blue, which is about normal. And then I believe it turns to uh, to either yellow, green, and then red when your RAM's getting in really hot. I have never seen my mind has changed. It was this morning because it's, it's very cold in here. Uh, I have my window open and it's only 36 degrees outside. <laughs> I'm a little Eskimo. But uh, it was purple this morning, light purple. Now it's blue because I've been running it for a while under Prime and everything. But it's not too bad. This uh, 
this Corsair Dominator GT, I got a heck of a deal on it. So, I got two sets. Um, if you can see it. But, oh, oh my. That wasn't cool. Take it over to the light. Dominator GT, 8 gigs, with the airflow pan, retail package, I got eight, I got 16 gigs all together, but uh, I only have 8 gigs up and running right now, okay everybody, this here is Gifty Sun, man, uh, hope I helped you out a little bit with these new B3 boards, alright y'all, have a good one. Tell me.